Hello and welcome to OH3 SPN Finland. Another hopefully quick video. There's a, a big misunderstanding around JSA call. Now I did a, a blog post a few months back, uh, which got quite a few hits, explaining the the more what I called advanced features of JS8 call. But there's still I see this again and again. People saying that JS8 call people are just doing heartbeats and there's there's no CQ activity or there's no response to CQs. The mode is dying. All people see is heartbeats and heartbeats will be the the death of the mode. But this is a, a big misunderstanding. I mean, there's two types of operators on JS8 call. First of all, we have the, the operators, the casual operators that fire up the software, send out a CQ, expect a, an interactive conversation, which is great. But then you have the other operators that have nodes up maybe 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's these operators, the, the ones that have their nodes up all the time, that are sending all the heartbeats that form the network for JS8 call. And JS8 call really is a network. It's it's not just operator to operator. It's it's like it's similar. Think of it like packet radio in the, the 80s. Well I say 80s. Some of us are still massively into packet radio now. But it's a similar idea, although maybe not quite as advanced, but also more accessible. So if you if you think we have a, a number of stations. Maybe this is, I can't really draw Great Britain. It's something like this. Scotland, uh, there, there are Wales down there, Cornwall down there. We have stations here. Again, my fantastic drawing. We have France and Germany down here somewhere. We have Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia. We have all these stations around and all of these people, all of these nodes are, are sending heartbeats. So perhaps this station here in wherever this may be is sending out a heartbeat. Who can hear me? So sending out this signal and all of these stations within range. Let's just say all of these stations are then reporting back. Yes, I can hear you. This signal strength. This this isn't a. Uh, it's not like whisper where it's just for the interest of the the owner of the node or the operator. Uh, this performs an essential function on JS8. If if this station can hear these these stations. And me here in Finland, I can hear these stations. How can I get a message to this station? Well, I, I can ask via JS8 call. I can broadcast and say, who can hear? This is me, OH something. And this is a, a G. This is going to show my lack of call sign knowledge now. This would be... Maybe, uh, maybe that's kind of Belgium somewhere. Maybe that's an ON. So I, I'm broadcasting. I mean, let's have a look at JS8 call here. I go to all call. At least I can if I can find my window. All call directed to all call. Query call call sign. Please acknowledge you can communicate directly with call sign. So I would select this. And I would put in the, the G0 ABC, let's just say. So I'll then broadcast this. I'll select send. This station here will then reply saying, yes, I can hear G0 ABC. And I last heard him two minutes ago. So I can then say, oh, great. Well, maybe my, maybe my friend G0ABC is sat at his keyboard. So I can then say, to via the ON station, let's just pretend that HB9 is the ON station. I can then say, please relay this message to its destination. So it goes via 
HB9 AVK, or in our my previous example, the ON station. So via that station, I want to go to G0 ABC. Hi via relay. So I can send that. The, the intermediate station will receive it, and it will rebroadcast it onto the other station that is otherwise out of my range. So you see the, the heartbeat thing is essential to the node. It's not a waste of time. It's not operators that are too lazy to operate. It's, it's an essential part of the, node, uh, the, the mode. But I mean, maybe G0 ABC isn't at his keyboard. Maybe he is, his node is also up 24-7, forming this essential part of the network. Well, I can also say... Please store this message at your station for reception by G0 ABC. So what this would do, let's do this as if I was sending the message as an example. Message in your inbox. So this is sent to this station and it stores a message in this station's inbox for this station. So you might think, well, how, how, does, how will G0 ABC ever know what station I've left a message for him or her in? Because theoretically, I could leave this in anyone's inbox. I could leave it in my own inbox. I could leave it in an intermediate's inbox. So when you first fire up the mode or when you want to check your email, you would do a broadcast to all call. Query messages. Do you have any messages for me? And I can send that now. Now, if someone has a message for you, they will respond with yes and a message ID. Say they have a, a very busy inbox, they might say yes, message ID, number, I don't know, 97. So the message in their inbox message ID number 97 is for you. So that you would then, when they've replied, you would send them a message. Query message, did I say 97? And you would hit send. And they will then relay the message that is stored for you back to you. But you see, all of this functionality relies on heartbeats and relies on, on the, the ability to broadcast to everyone saying, hey, can anyone hear this station? When did you last hear them? Hey, can you store a message for them? And of course, from the, the end, the receiving station, the, the ability to broadcast and say, hey, I'm online. Anyone got any messages for me? So I hope this clears things up. It's not just a, an interactive CQ, CQ, anyone free to chat, which is, it's great for, albeit a little bit slow, but it really comes into its own when you look at this automated store and forward message functionality. So if there is no one responding to your CQ and you see any interesting stations, leave a message for them somewhere. or. or I mean, there was a competition. I, I think there was a competition run by the, the guy that wrote JS8 Call to see, to see how far you could get a message. Because if you're relaying, let's have a look. Uh, where's the relay? Please relay this message to its destination. But I haven't done this myself, but this is my understanding. And I believe this is correct after reading the, the email threads from um, KN4CRD and yeah, the author of JS8 Call. You can do this, you can do G0ABC forward to K5 or K1XYZ forward to, I don't know, I'm where else, maybe, maybe something What's Brazil? P, P something? P, P, one, G, H, J, forward to, maybe there's a, a rare station in, I don't know, 
I'm looking at the map now and trying to think. Maybe, maybe there's something in in Africa or something. Five Z or five N is it? Algeria. I can't remember. Five N. So you're sending the station, sending your message. Hello. So you're sending this to HB9 AVK and you're saying, please forward this to G0 ABC. Please forward this to K1. Please forward this to and so on. So you can get a message. It's like packet radio. You have to know the route. That's the only problem. You can't just say, I want this message delivered to this person. I don't care how it gets there. Do the magic in the background. You need to specify the route, but you, you can build this up. Now, what would be really nice is if, if I select call sign here, let's find someone that's online so I can actually demonstrate this. HB9AVK. Who can they hear? Because I don't know who they can hear. You know, I, I'm, I'm up here. And I, I know what I can hear. But I don't know what these other stations can hear. Maybe there's an interesting hop. Maybe there's some, some rare DX. So I can, I can say, this is assuming they've got the automated stuff on, which I'll get to in a minute. Directed to HB9 AVK. Who are you hearing? What are the stations you're hearing? Top four ranked by most recently heard. Well, let's try this. Let's, let's see what happens. Now, whilst this is waiting to send, I will just mention for all of this to work, you have to have auto reply enabled, heart beating, heartbeat networking enabled, and automatic acknowledgements. If you don't, you're not part of the network. So you can do some of this, but you're not really joining in the spirit of the mode. So let's see now if HB9 AVK can, can hear me and has all the automated stuff enabled. I guess he can. Right, here we go. HB9 AVK to me. He is hearing or she is hearing. And you can see on the waterfall here, it's, it's a little bit slow. I mean, this is what I said for interactive QSOs. JS8 call is, is an okay mode. You can chat with very low signal, just like, like FT8, but with interactive text. But it comes into its own. You, you can have a block of text, you can have an email message, and you can just send it. You don't need to be sat there watching every character send. But all this can happen in the background at very low signals. And yeah, it's, it's not time dependent. You're not sat there thinking, I've got a, a 20 mail text message that I need to read. It can just happen in the background. So yeah, they've replied, HP9AVK. They're hearing DJ8NO, KK4WRE, W9CWC, KB. So they're hearing some really interesting stateside stations. So, so I could direct it. I'll please relay this to KK4WRE. Testing relay function. Now we'll see this. I'll skip ahead in the, the video because JS8 call is not the, the fastest of modes. But what we'll see here is we'll see. I'll transmit this to HB9 AVK and ask them to relay it. We will then hear HB9 AVK rebroadcasting my message. 2KK4WRE. So yes, what we're seeing now is we're seeing HB9AVK relaying the message from me to the, the destination station. And we should, if that's delivered, I think we will receive an ACK, an acknowledgement back, just to say it's been received. But of course, it may be that the, the destination station is not actually at the keyboard, so may not reply, may not even have the station switched on anymore. This is where the message store becomes useful. And I can leave a message at an intermediary station, which can be later picked up by 
by the remote station. So I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping this explains what all the heartbeats are used for and how it is essential to the operation of the mode and how there's a lot more to JS8 call than just the interactive CQ bit, which is also perfectly valid, don't get me wrong. Um, but there is a lot more to it, and I just wanted to explain the more advanced functions and how they are reliant on all of these operators, the in quotes lazy operators that just leave their machines on and are never sat at the keyboard. It's their dedication, their tying up their resources to the mode that enables all this extra functionality. So leave me leave me some messages. If you've got any questions, I'll happily demonstrate more. And yeah, in, enjoy the mode and do play with the, the relay function, the message function. Uh, it's, it's really great fun and it really opens up the possibilities of the mode. It makes it a, a lot more useful. There's also the, the call sign groups. I won't go into the call sign groups now, but I'll link the blog post that I wrote a few months ago and that kind of covers it as well. So if you've got any special interest groups or any regional groups or you want to start like a, a chat network, on popular on it, topics of interest, then you can use the the call sign groups. But I, as I say, I'll I'll add a link to the the notes in YouTube. So yeah, that's all for me from now. As I say, if you've got any questions or you'd like me to cover anything else, please please do leave a comment and I'll I'll see what I can do. Seventy threes from Oscar Hotel Three, Sierra Papa November.